That feels amazing. I imagine, like, sort of healing light coming down from, like, source down through me into yeah. my hands, and then you sort of send it to where it's it will do most good. Yeah. Working her own magic is Jonathan's date, physiotherapist and healer, Karen. We do craniosacral therapy, which is a hands-on healing. You're kind of balancing them, freeing them up. We'll just see what happens. And that's, yeah, that's then when the sort of stressy feelings start coming out. It shifts trauma out of your body that's getting in the way of you loving yourself if you don't love yourself, then life won't present you with love, you know? I feel really, like, loose now. Yeah, you should feel a bit more straight as Was well. Was I a bit wonky? You were quite wonky. Okay. <laughs> I once did it on an ex, but he was just full of darkness. Bye -bye. Yeah, I've got a very bad track record. <laughs> I did have a sort of thing with a guy who was a fire juggler, um, but he was the one who was only interested in sex. How are you, Karen? <laughs> I'm all right, Fred. I just can't walk in my shoes. I do like people who have something unusual about them. It's like there has to be that little something that catches my eye, but I don't know what it is until it happens. I am definitely open to a relationship. For the first time in my life, that's sort of where I am. Because I think I spent all my life focusing on whoever I was in a relationship with. Right, right, right. And it actually took sort of being with a man who was horrendously abusive. He liked the same sorts of music as I liked. He seemed to be very spiritual. And then gradually, it just all slowly changed. You know, when people say, oh, you know, well, why didn't she leave? And, oh, you shouldn't ask that. But actually, I was asking myself, why the hell did I not leave? One day, I got out of the bath, and outside our bathroom is a mirror and I didn't recognise myself. I was covered in bruises and somehow I hadn't seen it up until then. It ended with a prosecution and a restraining order and ultimately in prison for him. It was a horrible thing to go through, but actually it sort of led me to discovering a lot of stuff about myself. If I hadn't been through that, I'd still be the same, still looking for external validation. Yeah, and here you are, you know, firing on all cylinders and... Now, I'm happier than I've ever been, you know. Whether I find love or not, I've learned to love myself. Start of a new chapter, you yeah, know. Yeah, planning all my travels now. Where are you thinking I'd of? I'd love to go to New Orleans. So is it the voodoo that draws you? The voodoo that you do? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.